Hey guys, it's AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial about how to create a Motion 5 intro. I've noticed on YouTube that there aren't that many tutorials covering some intro techniques, so I just want to make a video about how to create a nice looking intro for your YouTube channel or any other projects. There are some great tutorials on YouTube about Motion 5, but make sure to search for those after this video. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to create an intro inside of Motion 5 using some more advanced techniques such as keyframing. So stay tuned. So before we actually dive into motion and creating this motion graphic slash intro, let me show you what it will actually look like. So here's just a little clip of what we'll be creating today inside of Motion 5. Alright, so let's dive right into this tutorial. So what we want to do is open up Motion 5. If you don't have it, just open up the App Store and go download it. If you need further help, just let me know in the comments. But I think you already have a little basic knowledge about Motion. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. So here is the intro. It has a bunch of different parts to it as well. Let me just fit this to the screen so you can see everything that I'm doing. You can see that I have a bunch of different keyframes telling all of these layers to, to do a certain task. So for instance, I have a keyframe here to tell the letter to fade in and move over and then fade out. And I'll show you all of this in detail when we get into the tutorial part. But here's just a basic little intro that I put together today and uh, I'll show you how to create it. So what we want to do is I'm just going to save this intro to my desktop and call it intro for AK Pro Films. But anyways, let's open up motion and let's click on motion project. Make sure it's set up to broadcast HD 1080. Then what we want to do is press on open. All right, so here is what opens up when you open up motion. So the first thing we need to do is press on this little percentage and make sure it's fit so it fits this entire canvas so we can see everything that we're working with. But to have the cool color in the background known as the canvas color, I'm just going to change that so we can uh, just have so we can differentiate between the background and the foreground. So what we want to do is press on this rectangle tool we want to click and drag over this canvas and then we want to fit it back to the screen so we can see all of the area that we're working with uh, I like this color that we're working on right now which is like this blue color but if you want to change it you want to press on this rectangle tool and open up the HUD also known as the heads up display and from here you can choose different colors if you want to but I'm just not going to change it because I think the color looks good right now now let's say that the color looks a little too flat and we want to have some light and dark around the edges so it just makes it look a little better. All we want to do is press on this little light icon to create a light. And so we want to switch it to 3D. And so the light will look like this but we want to make it a little brighter. So we want to drag up to bring the light uh, closer to the camera might take a little uh, getting used to the controls but it should be relatively easy Oops, there we go we just want to drag it out just a little bit so we can have it a little brighter we can also increase the intensity the fall off and all of these other settings I'm just gonna change it so I can make sure it looks good for the intro so I'm just going to leave it like that because I think that looks pretty good having the little vignette effect around the edges. But now let's actually get into the tutorial by creating some text. But before we actually get into the text, let's create the shape which was the circle in the intro as you saw earlier. Now we want to press and hold on this rectangle and get to the circle tool. And we want to click and drag on the canvas while holding down shift to maintain the size and proportion. We want to open up the HUD again and uh, let's turn on the outline. I think it's working. 
We can also go into the inspector to change some of the settings as well. The inspector works nicely as well. Now I'm just going to make the width just a little larger so we can see it better. And I am going to leave those settings like that. And let's just move it out of the uh, group here. And let's just rename that while we're over here. I just named that background because that contains the rectangle that we drew. And I'm going to rename this to circle. And let's drag that down so it is still affected by the light. Whatever is on top is going to be on the front most of the canvas area. So let's go to the circle and drag that until we get around in the center. And there we go, that looks pretty nice. So we want to have that draw on circle effect where it just goes around and it draws on. And that consists of some keyframes. So what we want to do is go to the area on the timeline where we want that to happen. So we want to press on the circle and uh, let's start it like this. So let's drag this first point offset to 100% as long as the last point offset as well. We want to press on record and we want to drag on the first point offset to zero. So let's unpress this record button and let's watch what happens. So as you can see, the circle gets drawn on, which is a really nice effect that I found out probably like a couple days ago. And that was really nice as I found that out. And as you saw in the earlier intro, you can add a line here, and that's what I'm gonna do next. So we wanna press and hold on the circle area to get to the line tool. And let's click and drag, and let's keep on holding shift so we keep it nice and straight. And let go and release the shift button. Now let's also increase the width just a little bit so we can see it better. And then that looks about right. And let's click on the line. And let's move that until it's relatively in the center. And that looks like it. So we can also just customize it a little bit more if we want to. I think that looks good. And there we go. All right. So now you can see that the circle gets drawn on, but the line just appears. But we want that line to come up and fade from nothing. So what we want to do is go to the start of the line. We can drag that to where we want it. And we can press on the record button again. And uh, let's actually unrecord that so we can start from the first frame. So let's go over to the properties. Let's go to opacity is zero. And let's go down in the Y just a little bit like that. All right, and where we want it to fully come up, let's press the record button. And let's adjust the opacity. And let's bring up the Y just a little bit, just like that. All right, so let's watch what we have so far. So the circle gets drawn on and this line just appears. Perfect, that's just what we want. And there we go, we have the line and circle in the circle group. We can rename that if we want, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And then let's press on the text tool over here to add some text. I'm going to write A. You can write whatever letter you want for whatever title you're working on. You can increase the size to your liking. I'm just going to make it nice and large like that so you can see it. Now let's move it to the center. That looks good. It looks like it matches everything. Let's just move it up like that. Oops, we actually need to do some more positioning. Oops, we want to delete these keyframes actually because we had the record button selected. So let's just increase the size one more time without recording anything. That looks about right. Let's position that to where we want that to be. And let's just put it right around here. That looks about right. You can do whatever you want, but I think that satisfies my needs. And so we have all this drawing on, but we have the text just appearing. So the nice way of doing it in motion is we can use the opacity or opacity tool again. 
Let's press, oops, let's not press the record button. Let's go to properties and let's start from zero, go to the point where we want and press record and then drag up the opacity. So as you can see, we have the circle drawing on, the line appearing and the text fading on. And then we want the circle to disappear, the line to go back down and the text to move over. So let's click on the circle here and let's make sure we're recording. And let's go to the let's go to the shape. And let's go to the first point offset. Let's click and then move over and let's click again or let's drag this over so it draws off. So it goes like that, it appears, it waits a little bit, let's just make it a little bit shorter so it's not as long. And let's make sure it just goes off like that, perfect. And so for the line, let's go to where we want it again, make sure we're recording. And let's go to the properties, let's add a keyframe for the position and for the opacity. And then over here, let's do the position down a little bit and the opacity to zero so it fades off while it's going down. So let's see what happens. The circle draws on, the line appears, the text fades on, and there we go, everything looks great so far. But the one thing we haven't done yet is make the text move over to the left. So let's click on position again, and let's move the text over on the x-axis where we want it to appear. So let's put it right around there. So as you can see, everything is looking great and functioning just the way we want it to. Let's just watch the ending portion. That looks really cool. So now let's add the part where these letters are appearing. So now let's add another text object and put that right over here. And let's add the rest of our text. So let's increase the size to our liking. Click over here in some open space. Let's make sure our text is aligned. We can increase it also by dragging on these handles, which is very convenient. And that looks about right. And that actually looks really great. So let's click on the K Pro Films. Let's make sure we're not recording. I keep forgetting to turn that off. That's just human error on my part. And so let's go to where we want. But as you can see, I forgot to turn off the record, which means that the text wasn't increased in size. So pressing shift, maintain that aspect ratio there. And let's move that over to where we want it to. So that looks good. And let's make sure that the timing is right. So that moves over. And I think that looks great. And it matches up nicely. So now in the front of this, let's not do any more keyframing and let's just jump over to this gear icon, which is some transitions that we can use, which is very nice and convenient. So let's go and let's do the, uh, why don't we find one that looks nice? Let's do the rotate in. So what happens is this nicely rotates in. We can adjust uh, the timing by dragging that like that. And we can see that we have some nice rotating in text. So now let's just change the duration of this title so it's not on there forever. And let's just uh, trim it up a little bit. Go back over to the gear. Go to text basic. There's also some other transitions for the text over there if you want to. But go to the text basic, uh, basic and go rotate out. Make sure you drag that to the end of the clip because that's where we want it. Make it just a little shorter. So let's watch our intro so far. So it draws on, the line comes up, A comes up. Everything looks nice. But the one thing we forgot to do is make sure the A disappears. So let's go over here to the A. Let's make sure we're recording. Let's go over to the properties and go over to the opacity or opacity. I don't really know how to say that, but opacity let's just call it that so let's just uh drag that down to zero so it totally fades out and let's also add another one let's just see if we can drag that over like that just to have some cool effect let's just see how that works 
Oops. Mm, no, that didn't really work. So just ignore that part. And let's just go with the opacity. Let's just drag that down to zero. You can play with that if you want to do that, but I don't want to keep you here all day with this tutorial. So let's just watch it one more time after we fade out the background. Right, so let's press on that disclosure triangle like that. Let's add a keyframe for the opacity right here, and let's fade it out nice and slow. All right, that looks great. Let's just make sure that worked. All right, that looks very nice. Everything works out just great. So now let's trim this whole thing so it is just a little bit shorter. Just like that. Make sure everything is trimmed a little bit. Let's make sure we're not recording again. Trim, trim, trim. And then let's drag this little handle over here to where it stops. So let's watch it for the final time and see our hard work and see how it looks. All right, so let's watch it. Draws on, the line comes up, fades, exits, and then AK Pro Films appears fades off nicely. So that is a little tutorial for you guys of how to make a super sweet intro in Motion 5. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Also send me a link to your intro that you've made by using this tutorial in the comment section below. I went through this a little fast, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below as well. Make sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And I hope you learned something today. See you in my next video and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.